Good morning, folks. This is an exaggerated Perseid meteor shower. It's going on right now, and you still have a few days left to view it. This is just before sunrise, a scene from Albany, Georgia, where MR2 lives. Know which planets and stars are up there so people can't point to one of these and tell you something else is visible in the morning sky. Now as you look at this impressive pre-dawn cluster of celestial bodies and I recall your attention to last night's video, if you missed it, it's the first link in the info box, you might remember that an earthquake watch is set for a few days from now as Mars conjoins Saturn. Now while that happens, the moon will be cutting through this morning bunch and coming in for a new moon at the end of the watch, but we'll have to come back to this. We have an arctic cyclone. Scientists are baffled first because it's summertime there, so these aren't supposed to happen. And even in winter, these things last 40 hours max, not five days. But unless your name is Santa Claus, your more practical weather outlook should focus at lower latitudes, and next week will be interesting in the Atlantic. Those two volcanoes in New Zealand are still under significant watch. Sydney, Australia got a serious wind event yesterday. A 4.2 struck off the California coastline. Alaska had another five-pointer. The Atlantic was rocking from way down south up to the equator, and an official eruption warning has been issued for the Satara volcano. This morning began with an odd tremor off Mozambique. The Dominican Republic saw a 4.1. Nicaragua had a 4.9 and a 5.0 moments ago. Watch that region. And we had a moderate tremor more north than normal. No gamma bursts in two weeks. I wonder if that's correct and if this is still reliable. Cosmic ray charts are quiet. The magnetometers and rheometer are calm as a cucumber on sedatives. Nothing above a C8 solar flare on the goes. The ACE solar wind data shows the calm before the storm along with the Ovation Prime Electrojet measurement. We do have some big spots up north but with mild complexity. The ones down south are smaller but perhaps a bigger flare threat. Then again, if you saw last night's video, you know the flares probably won't pick up seriously for a few more days. By then, the two thin dark coronal holes making a semicircle here will be affecting Earth. Uh, this one, not long after. The South Pole coronal hole extended up to the equator. That's serious. If you don't know why or you're confused by a few of the things you're seeing in this video, finish up by watching some of the heliocentric alignments I didn't show in yesterday's watch video, and then click the first link in the info box so you can know what everyone's talking about. Earthquake and solar flare watch begin this weekend. That's the news, everyone. Be safe.